Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'll be going over how to make art assets for the game and how to import them into Godot. So in the last video, I made some assets with some placeholder art like this, uh, but we can make actual art using a program that I use called Pixel Art. This is completely free to use. Uh, you want to start drawing and make a new drawing and then change the size. If you're beginning, I recommend 8x8 or 16x16. If you're a more advanced artist, uh, then I mean you can do whatever you want. So let's do an 8x8 for now. Uh, what I highly recommend is going over here, go to color palettes and pick one that has uh, a good variety of colors while still being uh, relatively small. Something like, for example, this, this will be good. So we're going to use the palette and we're going to use this palette to make some drawings. Let's do a grass drawing. So let's find a good color for grass. I like this color. We're going to use grass drawing. So we're going to use rectangle to tool uh, fill and go all the way across. And that will be for the grass. Then what we can do is we can add a frame and each frame could be like uh, a separate sprite. So we can use this frame right for that. And don't worry about it like animating that's not a big deal next we're going to draw some little uh, bushes so what you can do is I want a lighter one something like this like so so that will be a bush we're going to add a frame and let's add more bushes like so and that's good for the grass next we can make the player use the darkest color as like a border although i'm not too sure about this color specifically um but i guess that works uh let's use this color fill it in let's get a player and then let's get a a face here that seems to work this looks good to me so I'm going to use this as the player and following with the trend, we're going to do the same thing for the grass. I'm just going to use a slightly lighter color and then I like a little bevel and let's get a coin going. So we're going to add yellow. Let's do like a gold block. Why not? Yellow and then let's get a lighter color. Uh, obviously, this is your project, so you can do however you can decide it however you want to. Uh, but after we're done, we're just going to export it. So export download. And I like to make this one 64 since that's what we're already going for. So we're going to make this 64 by 64. And we're going to download it as a sprite sheet. So, yes. And then we're going to have that. So, what we can do is we're going to drag it over into Godot. And that should be it. Uh, so we have this sprite sheet. Uh, double click it so you can open it. You can see that it imported successfully. So but let's set up the player and the coins. So we're going to go to the player tab. Go to the sprite. Texture, we're going to drag in the art. And then we're going to go to animation, H frames. That's how many uh, pieces there are. You can see that there are six. So we're going to add six H frames. And then this is the position. So this is zero, one, two, three, four players in the four position so we're going to add the coordinates as four and now we have the player since the collision shape is a little too big we're just going to adjust it if you actually look closer you can see that the player is kind of blurry so to fix it we're going to go to sprite 2d we're going to go to uh, texture we're going to go to filter and we're going to go nearest and that should fix it up same thing for the coin go to sprite 2d go to art there are six frames, so we're gonna go six here. And then since this is in four, this is five, so we're gonna go five. And now you have this. Uh, we're just gonna make the collision shape into a rectangle. Hold Alt, click on this, and then drag like so. And then it's harder to see, but it's still blurry. So we're actually gonna hide the collision shape to make sure it is blurry, then go to here. Texture, filter, nearest. And there we go. We should have the player and some coins. All right, thanks.